In today's video, we will be covering the Ultimate Town Hall 6 Upgrade Guide. This is going to set you up for massive success at Town Hall 6 and allow you to build your base as efficiently as possible at this Town Hall. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay Smith Gaming here. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're covering the Town Hall 6 upgrade guide, and there's a couple things that I really just wanted to pre-frame uh, this video with. And the first thing being is that there's a couple upgrades that you should be doing throughout this entire process and the entirety of this Town Hall level. And that's really two things. One is your walls. You should always be upgrading your walls. They're really not that hard to upgrade, especially at this Town Hall. They don't really cost that much. And the second thing being, uh, you should always just be constantly upgrading your resources building, such as your storage, uh, the elixir collectors, and the gold collectors. Stuff like that should always be upgraded throughout the entire process. So those are the two things that I really just want to preframe this video with, is that those are the upgrades that are going to be continuous throughout this entire thing. But besides that, uh, let's go ahead and get into the main part of the video. If you guys do learn something, if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, I'm pretty new to the Town Hall 6. I'm freshly upgraded, I've put down a couple things, as well as upgraded a few buildings, but besides that, overall, I'm very fresh. So, some things that you should do, like the absolute first thing that you should do when you get the Town Hall 6, is you should place down all of the new buildings. You get a variety of new buildings from another cannon, uh, a new air defense, a wizard tower, two resource buildings, as well as uh, two spring traps and one giant bomb. So those are some new buildings that you get at Builder Hall 6, I'm sorry, Town Hall 6. I recommend you put them down as soon as possible. They're pretty cheap and I just go ahead and put them down, especially since you get that three day boost now. So for this upcoming four, these are really non-negotiable in the fact, in my opinion at least, of the things that you need to place down first. So let's go ahead and pull this out and really just remove all these buildings here. So you can put this in any particular order with this first four, but I just want to say these are the first four, in my opinion, that you like non-negotiable, you really need to put down first. The first one being is the laboratory. And the reason I say that is because this is going to unlock a variety of new things uh, for your, your base. And especially coming from that Town Hall 5 to Town Hall 6, it is a pretty big jump. It's not as big as Town Hall 6 to Town Hall 7, but overall it is a pretty big jump. And this allows you to bring your giant to level 4, your, brawl, your wall breaker to level 3, your wizard to level 3, and you also have some spell upgrades there as well. So these are some pretty big changes and I really recommend you get started on that as, as soon as possible and upgrade uh, whatever troop you use the most. Uh, me personally, I will upgrade the giant and the wizard first and then I'll end up doing uh, the, the wall breaker and the spell upgrades. So with those two things being said, let's go ahead and get on to the next one. So the next building that I really recommend that you guys upgrade is the spell factory and the reason being is because this has some huge changes from level five and it unlocks not only does it unlock the heal spell which has the ability to heal all the troops within its radius but it also increases your spells uh troop space by two so not now instead of having the ability to have two troop space of, of spells you can have four so that means you can either have two heal spells or you can have four lightning spells so it's a huge benefit and it is just absolutely just a game breaker uh, for when it comes to town hall six i really recommend you guys get that upgraded because this will do nothing but really help you out at town hall six and the next thing that i really want to talk about here is the army camps so i really recommend after the spell factory you go ahead and get the army camps upgraded and the reason being is because at 150 troop space that just frees up a whole lot more room for extra troops that you can put into your composition as a whole this means you can put in some extra giants you can fit in the extra healer uh, you can do a whole bunch of things with the extra troop space now it really is just makes a huge difference especially when it comes to war and just hitting out other town hall sixes especially when they start to get on the max side because it's really just going to help you out and it's just going to make farming that much easier 
And the final thing of the non-negotiable things you should upgrade first, it's gonna be the clan castle. And the reason being is because it does a whole lot more is because now it adds an additional five plus troop space so from 15 to 20 so instead of getting three giants in the clan castle you can now get four as well as you can also store some extra loot and it just the hit points also increase overall so just some good changes overall and it will just make your life so that much easier when it comes to war as well as farming uh, getting those extra troops in there let's go ahead and get into the next set of tips so we just covered the four non-negotiable things that you should upgrade first at Town Hall 6. That being the laboratory, the spell factory, the army camps, as well as the clan castle. Now that we're past that, this is where a lot more flexibility and personal preference comes into play. So what I would recommend that you do next is at least upgrade one barracks to level 8. And why that is, is because this will unlock the healer and that, that troop is amazing I really just not only healing your troops but it's great when it comes to mixing it with giant wizard and and just a whole bunch of different ground attack strategies a uh, healer is really really flexible uh, with those attack strategies so definitely recommend at least upgrading one you don't have to upgrade all four but at least one and then in the meantime I also recommend you upgrade all your buildings to at least town hall 5 max and the reason being is because you don't want your your base to have any particular weak spots in general i really just recommend getting all those uh, all those buildings to that town hall 5 max because it's just gonna allow your base to be a lot more even sided and there's no real unbalanced sides of the base so now that all that is covered let's go ahead and get on to the upgrade tier list for defenses so what I would recommend when it comes to defenses, the first one being the air defense. And the reason one being is because with the implementation of healers as well as balloons, really just getting that much stronger with the heal spell coming in at Town Hall 6, I really recommend upgrading these to air defenses as soon as you can because it's really just going to protect you against not only those healers, but also those balloons. And so upgrade those first in my opinion. The second thing being that I recommend you upgrade in regards to the defense is the wizard tower. And the reason being is because this pairs along nicely with the air defense upgrade. So this will not only help you with a mass balloon, but it will help you with the mass giant attacks, which are so common at town hall six. So it's just a great defense to upgrade and it's really just going to help you slow down attacks that much more. So. You're gonna see a common trend here. We've come in, we've fought, we've done the air defense, we've done the wizard tower. Now we're gonna go on to the mortar, which is another splash damage building. Not that the air defense is not to get confused, but this is great for just dealing with those mass archer, mass barbarian attacks, really just barge as well as doing some extra splash damage uh, to those mass giant attacks as well. Plus the range is huge. So it's just a really good defense that really just covers a lot of the base. I would recommend upgrading that third in the tiers of defenses the next thing after the mortar that i would recommend upgrading is the archer towers and the reason being is because this it just it, it beats out the cannons because not only does it have more range but it can also attack the air troops so that can also just help you not only pick off some of the healers that may be attacking your base but it's also good at helping you take down some of those balloons as well after that, we have the cannons, and the reason being is just because it's not that I, I'd say it's a very low priority. It's not really, really the kind of like the least useful building at Town Hall Six. Of course, it's helpful for defending, but it really just doesn't really provide any extra benefits. And then after that, the only trap you really can't upgrade at Town Hall Six is the giant bombs. I'd recommend upgrading your giant bombs uh, to at least the Town Hall Five Max as soon as you can, and really just getting those upgraded. Uh, so that way you can get all those taken care of. So that's really it when it comes to all of the buildings at Town Hall 6. So just to do a little recap, please be upgrading all of your walls as well as your resources buildings such as your storages, your collectors, because those are just going to be providing you benefits throughout the entirety of uh, the process at Town Hall 6. So really just be upgrading those in the background whenever you guys have some extra resources. But that's pretty much it for this Town Hall 6 upgrade guide. This is a part of my Let's Play series. 
So if you're interested in low level content such as this, uh, I'm do pretty much taking base from Town Hall 2 all the way up to max. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.